Greetings, beautiful people. I hope you all are well and having a fantastic day so far. A warm welcome to you all to Nanava's Kitchen. Today we're making a one pot dish, potage, made with ripened plantains and sweet potatoes. Potage is really a soup or stew, thickened, which contains all the nutrients you need to nourish your body. Your protein, your carbohydrates, your vegetables, all within that one pot full of flavor. It is also streamlined kind of cooking. So you know your sister madame is super happy today because cleanup is going to be easy peasy. Let's begin, but first let's wash our hands. And here are my ingredients. First I have some ripened plantains, all right? So you need a little black on the skin not too black so you don't want it to be over ripened you want it to be just there and here are some sweet potatoes so this potage is going to have that natural sweetness and we're using super food so you know it's going to be super healthy for you now i have some dried smoked herring red palm oil blended tomatoes i also have some tuna from the can it's the kind in water Hey, let's begin cooking. That's all we need really and a few other things to boost flavor here. So first, the oil goes into the pan. The pan is on medium heat. Then add your cured fish or fermented fish, ginger paste, garlic paste, and one habanero chili chopped and also seeded. And the cured or fermented fish in here is going to bring us that much needed umami taste in this potage. Apparently, you can ferment most fish to get momone. And I have linked a recipe below in the description box from Imelda's Kitchen, Papebi. She made momone with sea bass as well as um, croaker fish, unbelievable. Now I've added my sliced onions and carrots that are shredded. The onions are thinly sliced, it's one large red onion. And we're gonna just stir it in to combine everything. Still cooking on medium heat, we're going to place the lid on after stirring to combine, and we'll let it cook for about five minutes. What we want here is for all the flavors to kind of mesh, melt, and marry, all right? So we want it to get to the point where it's almost disintegrating, all right? Very tender. And after five minutes, there we have it. And so we're gonna stir it again. It isn't quite disintegrating yet. So I'm gonna place the lid back on after stirring it. I want it to be super tender, almost melting away, all right? So place it back on about three minutes later, we were at the right texture that I was looking for. That's what I was desiring. And so now we can proceed by adding the rest of our ingredients here. Next ingredient is my blended tomatoes. So I have four large Roma tomatoes here blended and typically you wouldn't add tomatoes to a potage like this, but I really want that acid. Friends, acid really truly does make your mouth water. Now when we are eating delicious food, what we really want is for our mouths to water and that acid in the food is what causes that. Now, when you think of it, when you add acid to your food or when you taste acid, what happens in your mouth? Your mouth literally starts to water what we're going for. And that's what I want in this spot. So I've added the tomatoes and continue to cook for five minutes. And now the oil is starting to resurface. Give it a stir. And now we're going to add our smoked dried herrings. I soaked it in water because it was bone dry so I needed to rehydrate it. So of course I washed it first and then soaked it in the water. So now they are perfectly hydrated. Now I've added also my tuna and here goes my vegetable broth homemade linked below in the description box full of flavor. Stir all of that in so now we almost have a stew. 
pretty much a stew in this pot. This stew is bursting with so much flavor. It's unbelievable. It is incredible. Just absolutely wow. So make sure you just deglaze the pot if you need to. And now we're going to add our sweet potatoes, which we have cubed, okay? All right, and stir that in also. Get everything submerged. And then place the lid on and continue to cook for the next five to seven minutes on low heat setting. You do not want anything burning now. Because of the textures in the pot, it can easily catch on the bottom or burn. So now you wanna turn the heat down to the lowest setting. Cook for about seven minutes. If you're cooking in a cast iron pot, it should be about seven to eight minutes before the potatoes are tenderized. And we want them to be able to mash with a fork. So let's give it a test. And here is one cubed potato, sweet potato, mashable. That's the texture we want. So we can now proceed by adding our ripened plantains. And the last but certainly not the least ingredient that goes into the pot is the ripened plantain because they do not take long to cook at all. All, all right so you want to put them in and then stir them in as well now when you do prep them you want to make sure that you have cut them into the same size so they cook evenly and taste for salt at this point and season appropriately to your taste you just added a huge layer of ingredients in terms of the plantains so you want to season each layer as you go okay and the pot is filled mostly with sweetened ingredients and the salt if you really think about it accentuates that sweetness and makes it better okay so you do want to definitely um, season as you go and then the acid in there helps to accentuate it as well bring it really to the forefront that sweetness and this pot is a potage of sweetness and that's exactly what we're going for here so cover the pot after you add your plantains which don't take long to cook so 10 minutes afterwards on the lowest heat setting your pot should be completely ready to be devoured and the the contents of the pot not the pot itself <laughs> all right stare it in voila done if you want this to be in a mash a more mashed state then you use a potato masher and mash the the uh the contents of the pot and serve just look at that this was yummy to say the very least my husband loved it. Friends, thank you for joining us today. It is chop time, and I hope you enjoyed yourself here and learned a thing or two. Over here in the Navis Kitchen, chop time is always yes, friend. It is never no friends. So pull up a chair and uh, join us because we are all friends here. I hope you make it a great day actually make it a great day. There is no choice here. And have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly share the video. Also, leave me a comment. And then subscribe down below and watch more videos. Thank you again. It is chop time.